Three clean sheets in the group stages, although it's strange now that they've conceded in three consecutive mm -hmm. knockout games. But can we talk a bit about Donnarumma, Federico? Can we talk a bit uh, about... He's, yeah, he's playing very well. He's playing very well. And uh, he's very strong uh, uh, mentally because uh, in Italy he received a lot of critique, no? you know, because he, he left Milan uh, in a difficult moment, uh, we can say, because uh, everybody say that he shows Paris Saint-Germain for money. So he received a lot of critique, but uh, he's very young, but he's very stable. You know, he's very stable because during this uh, this Euro, uh, he confirmed uh, all his quality. He deserved to be one of the best keepers in the world. And uh, he was decisive also tonight, um, always sure. And uh, it's very important to us. But uh, uh, we have doubt, uh, not, not me, but uh, in Italy, we have doubt uh, that uh, uh, the way he can um, um, leave this Euro, you know, because you receive, believe me, a lot of, a lot of critic, you know, at the level human, because they say, oh, you, you play just for money, you play just for money, you play just for money. So you receive a lot of critic, but, uh, but during this Euro, uh, he, he, he's one of the best of the team and was a, a one of the best uh, uh, keepers. So it, it's very stable, it's very stable, it's very strong mentally. Do you think that he can be even better than the great Buffon? No, not your like teammate. Buffon. No, no. I play with uh, with Gianluigi. I play with Buffon. No, I think no. I think no. I think Buffon is other other level, other level. But, Why? What, what uh, separates? What separates the yes. two? Yeah, yeah. It could be. He's very young, so uh, is the new is the new Buffon, of course, hundred percent. Is the new Buffon, and um, it will be uh, it will be one of the best for uh, keeper for uh, for a long time. This is for sure. Then uh, I think Buffon have something uh, something special more than him, but he's very very keep, very very good keeper, of course. Uh, and uh, I, I, as I told you. Uh, I think his strongest is here, is on his head. Because uh, I, I think he has more or less 200 matches. He, he played his first match uh, in, uh, in uh, Syria, 16 years old. Uh, and always, uh, um, and also when, uh, when um, he miss, he do something, uh, something wrong, the match uh, later is always one of the best. So I think for the keeper, uh, this is a great, great quality. Jose, you've played with some great keepers yourself. You know the importance of having a good keeper. You're, you're a defensive player. You know you're in close proximity yeah. to the goalkeeper. So, Jose, what about your take on Donnarumma? Do you think he could possibly match up to the great Gianluigi Buffon and other great Italian keepers when you think back on it? Uh, Pagaluca, Perussi, Dino Zoff, captain at the age of 40 when they won Marco the World Zenga. Cup in 82. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so many, so many. Walter Zenga, another one. Uh, Jose, what do you reckon? Where does Donnarumma fit into this? It's, it's too young to talk about that. Obviously, it's, a, it's one of the best keepers already in the world. That's the truth. But the most difficult, and I'm sure Federico agree with me, is to be consistent. Like Buffon has been consistent for 20-something years, you know, and yeah. play at the highest level and winning the biggest trophies possible, you know? for many, many years, you know, with 37, 38, 39, and it's like... As wow. Knight is uh, playing, he's playing in Serie B, uh, in Parma. Yeah, so it's yeah because obviously now he just wants to play, you know, but when he was in PSG, how old he was? 40, 41, something 41. like that. 41, 41. 41. So he's been in, in, the, in, the, in the business for, what, uh, 21 years, 22, yeah, 23 years, you know, at the highest level, you're talking about something else. Obviously, Donnarumma starts really, really young. He starts with 16. He doesn't look yeah. 22 when you see him on the pitch. The confidence, yes. The, yes. How, to, how tall he is, how strong he is. The face, even, he doesn't look 22. Yeah, yes, well. it's body language. You know? body language. Yeah, 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 yeah of the, course. Yeah, you know, so obviously he has all the potential to become one of the best goalkeepers maybe ever. You don't know. This is football, you know. The, the qualities is there. He's tall, he's really good in the air, good with the feet, very good. You know, I remember Danny Olmo put a, a ball in the floor, you know, and you see for how high he is. Maybe it's difficult for him to actually go into the floor and he went so fast and put it out, you know. Listen, he has everything to become one of the best wild keepers. But the most difficult in football is to keep this every single year and have that appetite, you know, that maybe in, in six years' be time... Hungry. Well, always be hungry, always. Exactly. Maybe with 28, yeah. is what, imagine he's going to PSG and I don't know, and he's won... 
everything by 28 and he say okay you know I, I just want to keep going a little bit more and that's all you know that mentality to just keep going like Messi like Ronaldo like Buffon like this kind of place until the end is very difficult so to compare him with Buffon wait another 10 years and maybe we talk about it you know yeah. 